football game. Oh, that was fun. Well, basically, what it is is the kids from Ramblewood come to one of our football games and they get to sit in the stands with us and they play our stand tunes and when we go off to halftime they start playing their marching band music and we talk to them and we tell them about marching band and it's really nice. Tell me about um, the football game you went to with Terravello. It was a lot of fun. I got to meet a lot of the lead players in the marching band, some of the seniors that are leaving next year, uh, and I hope to have a great time next year with JP Tiarella marching band. The football game was a lot of fun uh, because I had a lot of friends that were in eighth grade last year when I was in seventh grade, so I got to see them because a lot of them went to Terravella. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, it was cool because they, they did a lot of like chants and they did a lot of fun stuff, and I'm really excited to go there next year because we get to do all the cool stuff with them. Get to do the show. The show was really good this year, and I'm excited for all of that. So they're just sitting there with us, and we're showing them some of their music, and then we're playing some of the music that they have, and it was fun. And a few of them actually know us because, you know, we were middle schoolers, and now we're freshmen in high school. But we're just discussing about things like, oh, marching band's fun, it's just a lot of hard work. Well, it's really fun meeting the upperclassmen and seeing the people that you knew previously that went to middle school. And it's fun going and seeing their music. Nobody really pays attention to the football games. The game that I have in the middle schoolers are actually fun because they get to see what we they expect to do in high school and we actually had fun with them. I really like this year's football game because I already knew a lot of the incoming 7th and 8th graders that are coming in and we have a fun time. I feel like the trombones that like, I already knew and now that I know a little better, they feel like they're already a part of the section. They, they seem just like us. They laugh at the same things we do. They play the same kind of inside jokes, like kind of songs like we do. I feel a little intimidated but I get to meet them and then they're pretty chill, so it's not that hard to talk to them after I meet them. with the Two's Fun section, and uh, they did a lot of, a lot of chants, uh, we learned their music. Uh, when we weren't playing, we were talking to the Sousaphone members about how they enjoyed band and stuff like that. And yeah, it was just a good time. We watched some of the football game. It was really good. Well, most of the time I was doing chants. It was fun. I got to meet the drum line from Terravella and get a better understanding of their music, of how they play, and how they act at the football game. They act like all crazy and wild and they have a lot of fun. I had two different eighth graders and seventh graders on either side of me and it was I thought it was funny to see like one of them was like super into all the dances and cheers and all the little like extra things that we do in our different stand tunes. And when the cheerleaders come over we do all those weird dances. All their cheers, the cheerleaders coming over and doing the Taco Bell song, and um, the cheers they do when, like, percussion's playing, when we score, when just in general, it's a pretty happy environment during the football games. 
Um, I got to meet one of the lead players I didn't know, which was Lipworth. And it was a lot of fun listening to them play and just being able to play along with them. It was a lot of fun being able to uh, get hype with everyone. So I looked after two girls that played saxophone and they were really nice. They were in sixth grade and they were young so they couldn't really play the stand tunes by sight reading. But they were cool to be around and it was a really fun experience I think for both them and me. It's a challenge for them since it's like all of our music, even though it has been unchanged, it's completely new to them because they have their own music from like their middle school band director and them looking at a new music, sight reading, always hard. Even if it's repetitive, they're still sight reading it because they just don't know the music. But later on, they catch up pretty quickly. Um, for the sand tunes that us, us high schoolers did, we have pieces like Brooklyn and a bunch of other sand tunes. And there are like a lot of cool dances that really go with them. Like instruments go up and down, up and down, and then we have other instruments that are just dan like people dancing with their instrument. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, well, the lot of my music, basically what I had to do was I had, they gave me the sheet music to look at it, and I had to look at it, and I, it took me a little while to memorize it. They had to play it a few times, and then I finally kind of got the grasp of it. They let me look at it uh, while we were playing, so that helped. Uh, it was difficult because for percussion, we don't have written parts, so they more had to tell us what we had to, like the rhythms we had to play, instead of giving us sheet music that we can read off of. It was a little intimidating because a lot of them are tall and large, um, but then it was cool. Like there were some smaller kids, and it was a lot of fun playing with them. Again, it was cool to see all, all my friends from eighth grade that moved on to ninth grade. And I'm, and I'm excited that I'll be able to get with them next year. In my section, we just talk a lot and say the most, like, some of the most funniest things ever. And then later in the football games, got cheerleaders like walking by and go like peel the banana and do other random things that I have to get out of my comfort zone to be. But it's worth it because in the end, I'm having fun with people I care. When we had to go to halftime, we would march off and we would play our show and after we would do our show, they would play their music that they do for marching band and it was kind of nice listening to them. It reminds you of back when you were in Ramblewood, if you were in Ramblewood. It's kind of like a little nostalgia thing. You have their little sand tunes like YMCA or like I Want to Hold Your Hand by the Beatles. It's just fun. Plus it brings back memories too. As we're at middle school, just listening and playing those songs over again. It was a lot of fun. I think Terra Hello should have won, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we were there for the band. That was a, a lot of fun. I think I paid a little more attention to the band rather than the football game. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. I just learned like many of the things I'm gonna have to be able to do next year to be in marching band and how much fun it's gonna be able to be in, in marching band. It was really fun. I pay more attention to playing and like being with my friends than in the football game because I don't like sports. So it was it was really cool just being there. I've learned about the people that are there. I've learned that those people are really nice and they know what they're doing something I can look forward to when I go to high school. My final thought was that those middle schoolers, they, they have potential. I learned that there's still a lot of people interested in 
doing marching band and definitely way like a ton of baritones and trombones are going to be joining next year. And I can't wait for them to be a part of our section. Football game was really nice experience because I remember doing it in Ramblewood and actually being in Terravella talking to the Ramblewood kids. It was really nice. Thank you.